Just bless the eyes and ears of the listeners. I plead your blood on this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Just a short lesson, y'all. 1 Corinthians 25 through 29. Because the foolishness of God is wiser than men, and the weakness of God is stronger than men, for you see your calling, brethren, that not many wise according to the flesh, nor many mighty, not many noble are called. But God has chosen the foolish things of the world to put to shame the wise. And God has chosen the weak things of the world to put to shame the things which are mighty. And the base things of the world and the things which are despised, God has chosen. And the things which are not to being to bring to nothing, I can't see y'all, my glasses are fogging up, to bring to nothing the things that are, that no flesh should give glory in his, pre- in his presence. So let's talk about what's the talking about there. Holiness in God. Okay, it's about true holiness can only be found in God. What's it mean? There you go. In God can only be found in God. That word, when he says that, means it's telling you, It can only be found when you are born again and you're living according to God's word. That's what it means when you talk about in or when they say walk or abide in when you're living it. So true holiness can only be found in God, in God. If we are to achieve holiness in our lives, it has to come through God. We will only do so as we grow more and more dependent on him. It's a process, y'all. You start studying. You surrender. You surrender right now. And you start growing in his word daily. And you grow and you grow and you grow. But people want to get there right now. But no, it's a process. You have to study, grow, and he will he will help you. Ta- he'll help take you wherever it is he wants to take you to. But you have to go through the process, studying his word, praying, living it, living it. Okay. So we got to acknowledge that there is no spiritual power in mere human abilities. It's got to be through God. You ha- you can't start here at the beginning. You can't just jump into it. You have to go through the process. Be Seek the Lord, y'all. Seek the Lord. Abide by his word. Obey him, y'all. Obey him. Okay? And he will take He will take you there. All right? God works through our abilities. Without him, all of our efforts are ineffective. Okay? So the natural mind can't understand or, or receive from the Holy Spirit, our natural mind. Okay, only as we are born again and made spiritually alive can we begin to discern spiritual wisdom. So if we want our lives to model holiness, we got to, one, devote. You have to devote your time and energy. You got to devote your time and energy to knowing the Lord, to know the Lord. That's what you got to do. That's what, that's the purpose of studying, studying. That's how Jesus showed me how to show you to study. So you do know him so you can hear him. Okay. So you have to devote time of your busy life, your busy day to the Lord. Okay. Choosing, you have to choose to associate with other believers. You choose, you have to give up some, you have to surrender some things in your life, y'all. If it's going to hold you back. Okay, so you have to choose to associate with other believers rather than allowing ourselves to be unduly influenced by the world's values, which may influence us towards evil. Okay, so you 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 grow in the body. That's why we get together on Google Meets because the Bible says, "Forsake not assembling yourselves together," because it's edification for each other. We need to be together. Okay, you need more godly friends. You need people on the same pages so we can help each other endure and be and keep encouraged. So you have to surrender some things in your life. If it's going to hold your walk with God, take you backwards. You got to give it up. So that is much easier to do when we keep in mind that earthly values are changeable. Okay, only the eternal remains the same. And that is why we must embrace that which is eternal, which is God 
his word and we live according to it. We are in it. When we're in it, we're living it. It means to obey. Obey everything God said, y'all. Obey the Lord. You have to obey the Lord. I'm going to repeat that again. You have to obey the Lord. I want, to, I want to tell you something here. Let me find it real quick. Let me find it. Let me find it. Let me find it. Oh, hold on. I can't find it. You have to obey the Lord. Okay. I'm going to put this down for a minute because I can't find it. Hmm. Well, anyway, um, I was saying that the word here, like you, Jesus will say, let them with ears hear. Let those with ears hear. Hear. You are born again. You're a believer in Jesus Christ. Okay, that means listen. He wants you to listen. Pay attention. Start making the changes that he's telling you you need to make. Start making the changes because as a new person in Jesus Christ, it's time to surrender your life to him, your life to him. Time to kick out things that's going to hold you back or take you backwards. Kick it out, okay, and grow in him. Create a new group of friends. Create godly friends. Come to the Google Meets. Meet people. Meet the people, okay? Start participating. Become the body that you are in Christ Jesus. It's very important. That's why Jesus said, don't not do it. He said, do not forsake yourselves, assembling yourselves together because you need that edification because we're going to have some struggles, y'all, and life is difficult. So you have an enemy that wants to devour you and eat you up and take you, make you fall, make you fall. Can you fall away? Absolutely. Satan himself, Lucifer, fell away. Yes, you can fall away. Matter of fact, Jesus said the road to heaven is very narrow. Very few people find it because it's difficult because you have to obey God and everything he said to be on that road. And most people can't do it because of their choices. They don't want to or they have an excuse why they can't obey him or something's always there. And they're on this road over here to destruction. He said many people that think they're Christians, y'all are going to stand in front of him on that day, on Judgment Day, and say, wait a minute, didn't I do this for you? Didn't I do that? I did it. He's going to shut the door in your face, tell you I never knew you because you did not obey everything I told you to. And he didn't tell us nothing we can't do, but we have to do it. You know why? Because he is God. That's why. He created you. So when you don't obey everything he said, you disobey God, y'all. You disobey him, and that will keep you off of that road. It will keep you. You can't get into heaven with disobedience. This ain't going to happen. So give up some things in your life. Surrender some things. Come to the Google Meets. We're having it tomorrow night, which is Thursday. We have it Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Google Meets, download the app if you have to. If you have a laptop or desktop, just type it in and come. The code is R-A-O-U-B-O-F-M-V-I. It's only for your benefit, y'all. I don't get squiddly squat for spending my time uh, teaching y'all two, three hours a day like that. I get nothing. It's not about me in any way, shape, or form. Okay? So it's I don't charge you for it. Uh, it doesn't do anything but help you. It helps you meet a group of godly people. It helps you be with the body. It helps you learn and grow, 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 grow in God's word. It all helps you. I'm not profiting in any way, shape, or form off of doing this for you, okay? Most people, when it comes to obedience to God in that particular area, isn't going to be obedient anyway. So it's not about that. It's about come because time is short, y'all. We are at the end, end. Okay, we're watching the big war in Israel happen. All the players are coming in. The final battle is setting up right now, right for the return of Jesus Christ, you guys. The return is near. The, the man and the white horse, the Antichrist, is rising to power as we're speaking right now. Okay, they're getting ready to reveal to us the great this great um, delu delusion June the first about this 
UFO disclosure, you know, the, the fallen angel stuff, that's what it is, but they're going to tell you alien. I mean, stuff is shaping up all around you. They're making good look evil and evil look good. If you don't take that thing in your arm, then you're not helping the community. You're bad. You got to wear your mask forever, forever. You know, they get twisting everything. We're in the days, y'all. We are in the days when there's going to be a great falling away of God's people. Not my group. Get in Google Meets. Come on, download the app and come and grow. It's for your benefit, your benefit. All right, in the name of Jesus, God bless you all.